grade 8, week number 14, chapter number 10, light. Lesson number 1, seeing light, textbook page number 350 to 353. Welcome dear students, I am your physical science teacher Mr. Dimish. From this lesson we are going to learn about how one sees objects and identify the types of lenses that are used to correct vision problems. Okay, dear students, let's see how you see objects. Look at this flow chart. Light enters the eye. Light focuses on the retina. An image forms. And finally, roads and cones send signals to the brain. So these are the four steps taking place while we see an object. So first the light enters the eye, then the light which is entered the eye will be focused on the retina of the eye which is the screen and an image will be formed there on the screen and after that there are roads and cones these road cells and con cells will send this image these images to the brain so that we are able to see things Okay, let's see the structure of human eye. Here we have the cross section of human eye. And let's see how light enters the eye, how the image forms and how the image is transferred to the brain. light enters the eye through the transparent front surface which is called the cornea it protects the eye also acts as a lens to focus the light rays after passing through the cornea light enters the pupil the part of the eye that looks black it is an opening through which light enters inside the eye. In dim light, the pupil becomes larger to allow in more light. In bright light, the pupil becomes smaller to allow in less light. The iris is a ring of muscle that contracts and expands to change the size of the pupil. The iris gives the eye its color. In most people the iris is brown. In others it is blue, green or hazel. After entering the pupil the light passes through the lens. It is a convex lens that refracts light to form an image on the lining of your eyeball. Muscles called ciliary muscles hold the lens in place behind the pupil. When you focus on a distant object, the ciliary muscles relax and the lens becomes longer and thinner. When you focus on a nearby object, the muscles contract and the lens becomes shorter and fatter. 
when the cornea and the lens refract light an upside down image is formed on the retina retina is a layer of cells which is made up of tiny light sensitive cells called rods and cones rods are cells that contain a pigment that responds to small amounts of light the rods allow you to see in dim light but cones are cells that respond to color they may detect red light green light or blue light cones respond based in bright light both rods and cones help change images on the retina into signals that then travel to the brain the rods and cones send signals to the brain along a short thick nerve called the optic nerve the optic nerve begins at the blind spot which is an area of the retina it has no rods or cones your brain interprets the signals as an upright image it also combines an image from each of your eyes into a single three dimensional image this is how the eye helps to see objects correcting vision if the eyeball is slightly too long or too short the image on the retina is out of focus we can solve these issues by wearing glasses or contact lenses concave lenses are used to correct nearsightedness and convex lenses are used to correct far sightedness near sightedness a near sighted person can see nearby things clearly but objects at a distance are blurred the eyeball is too long so the lens focuses the image in front of the retina to correct this a concave lens in front of the eye spreads out light rays before the they enter the eye as a result the image forms on the retina far sightedness a far sighted person can see distant objects clearly but nearby objects appear blurry the eyeball is too short so the image that falls on the retina is out of focus a, a convex lens corrects this by bending light rays toward each other before they enter the eye an image then focuses on the retina so these are the ways we used to correct both vision problems near sightedness and far sightedness thank you for listening have a nice day